Well, hey there and welcome. I'm Keenan, and this is the Clear English Corner. So the other day, one of my Cautious to Confidence students said to me, at the end of your lessons, Keenan, you often say, that's a wrap. What exactly does this mean? And I thought, great question. This is an idiom. And since this is the season of gift giving and wrapping presents, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a quick lesson on phrasal verbs and idioms with the word wrap? Sound like fun? All right, we'll also get a chance to practice some past tense endings and linking in this lesson. So let's dive in. Let's start first with wrap up. This is a very common phrasal verb that can mean different things. But first, let's listen to the way it sounds. Wrap up, wrap up. Notice that the W at the beginning of this word, is totally silent. The first sound you hear is the R consonant. Wrap, wrap up. Then the word wrap ends in a consonant P. Up starts in a vowel sound, the uh as in plum. So that P at the end of wrap is gonna link over in front of the word up and make it sound like pup, wrap up, wrap up. All right, so you can wrap up a task or an event, and that means to finish. Ooh, we better wrap up this meeting before the weather gets bad. We're right on schedule and should be able to wrap up by four. You can also wrap up a thing like food, and here it means to cover it in paper or cloth or plastic wrap or put it in a to-go container. Let me just wrap that up so you can take it home with you. You can also wrap up a person, which means typically to surround yourself with maybe something warm. I love to wrap up in a cozy blanket on a cold winter night. Oh, it's freezing out. You'd better wrap up. Now, if I add an ed ending to wrap, I get the phrase wrapped up, wrapped up. Notice that the ed ending in this word is pronounced like a soft T sound, wrapped, wrapped. And that T again is gonna link over in front of the word up to make it sound like tup, wrapped up, wrapped up. To be wrapped up means to be completely absorbed or involved in something, usually to the exclusion of everything else, maybe even a little obsessed. She's completely wrapped up in this new relationship and I haven't seen her for months. On a cold winter day, I love to wrap up in my favorite blanket and get totally wrapped up in a really good book. All right, how about this phrase? wrap my head around. To wrap your head around something means to understand something that's difficult or strange. I can't wrap my head around the fact that he's gone. The numbers are so vast, it's hard for me to wrap my head around them. Wrapped around your little finger. Wrapped around, wrapped around. Again, notice that soft T for the ED ending, linking over in front of the word around, wrapped around. If someone is wrapped around your little finger, it means that they'll easily do whatever you ask of him or her. So for example, my little brother has a little girl and this little girl has him completely wrapped around her little finger. He'd do anything for her. You might hear someone use this expression when talking about someone in a new relationship. He's completely smitten. She has him wrapped around her little finger. To keep under wraps. To keep something under wraps means to keep it a secret. We're not sharing the news yet. So can you keep it under wraps? Ooh, it'll be hard to keep that under wraps until Christmas. And finally, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. To hear that, that's a, that's a, that S sound linking over in front of the article, a, uh, a, uh, that's a, that's a wrap. This is a phrase that's used in movie making to let actors and crew know that the filming is done. 
and now it commonly is used to indicate the end. So that's a wrap for this little lesson on phrasal verbs and idioms with the word wrap. You'll also enjoy this lesson where I'll share 10 common phrases for better holiday conversations. Be sure to come on over to the Clear English Corner website for tons more free practice resources and pronunciation lessons. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.